What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Duke versus Jacksonville college basketball matchup going down Monday, November 7th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com. We're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. Great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. Those VIP and premium passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from myself, Mitch, and Rod. It's one of the best values going in sports handicapping today, so make sure it's something that you check out, take advantage of, and keep in your back pocket. But let's get to this one between Duke and Jacksonville. And for Duke coming into this game, well, it's, I guess, yeah, day one in the regular season of the uh, the John Shire era. You know, obviously, no more Coach K did step down after a 37-year career with the Blue Devils and uh, you know, did well to take him to the Final Four in his final year. Finished the Duke finished the year 32 and 7 in the in the uh, in the uh, on the year, but uh, did fall short against North Carolina in the Final Four in that uh, in that tournament. Meanwhile, Jacksonville, year one under Jordan Minzy, a uh, a rousing success as Jacksonville finished the year at 21 and 10, 11 and 5 in a Sun Conference play, and was one game away from making it to the NCAA tournament. You know, they had their most wins in a season. We're talking, we're going back to uh, ten, uh, most wins since uh, 1986. The 11 conference wins the most since 2011. So the Jacksonville team, I think, is heading in the right direction. And this is a Jacksonville team that, you know, is still bringing back a ton of talent. You know, they bring back Osai Osifo up front. You know, he had 7.9 points, 5.9 rebounds last year, uh, as well as Kavion Nolan in the backcourt point guard, 13.9 points per game last year, four assists. But Jacksonville did a good job hitting transfers. You know, they brought in Dylan O'Hearn as a transfer from NJIT. So he put up 11.6 points per game last year. And uh, Omar Payne, a big man transfer from Illinois, it's going to be a big get for Jacksonville. So they're going to look to try to you know, build on success and finish the job in A-Sun play this season. Meanwhile, Duke, you know, this is a Duke team that pretty much, you know, if you're John Shire, you got whatever you wanted from the uh, from the recruiting class that you were looking for. As you got the number one recruit, Derek Lively, the second. You got Derek Whitehead, number two. Kyle Filipowski, number four. You also got, you know, Mark Mitchell, Jaden Shutt. And uh, not only that, you brought in you know, another solid transfer also from Illinois and Jacob Grandison. Now, this is a, a, a very good, but also another very young Duke team. And that's kind of where I think the wrinkle is going to be in this one. It's not like it's Coach K who is used to having that turnover year after year after year. You've got a new coach in John Shire who, yes, sat under the learning tree of his former coach. But, you know, it's, it's going to be his first year having to move guys around on the fly. Whitehead could be could play this game. I haven't seen anything. He was out in the uh, in the late summer into the fall workouts because of a foot fracture. Shire said he would be back in the fall. That could mean he could be playing tonight. He could be playing in late November. Who knows? We're going to have to try to keep monitoring it. But again, you got a very young team with Mitchell Filipowski, lively up front. And this is a Jacksonville team that has said they want to be physical. They're going to bang in the paint. I don't, This is going to be a Jacksonville team that if you gave me this Jacksonville team in past years, I would say Duke runs them off the floor. But this Jacksonville team wants to battle, and they're going to be physical against a young core in the front for Duke in Filipowski and Lively. But also, these are guys in Filipowski and Lively that are very lanky. They're very thin. Lively standing 7'1", 220. So, you know, he's going to be going up in there against guys like Payne and Osifo. These guys are going to be very physical. And, you know, in their first, you know, collegiate action, could be a little bit tough. You know, I think Duke... Does Jackson? What I'm trying to get at is, does Jacksonville go into Cameron Indoor and win this game? Probably not. But this is a Jacksonville team that I think is going to open some eyes this season. I think they could keep this one within 15 to 17 points. Getting 18 and a half, I think just a couple points too many. And for me, it's not that I don't respect Duke. I think this Duke team is going to be fine. They're going to be in the tournament come March. But laying 18 and a half with a young team with a ton of unknowns, a ton of question marks going into opening night. I feel like I go with the more, as weird as to say, is to say the more proven commodity and, and uh, more experienced commodity, bringing more back in Jacksonville. So give me Jacksonville here, plus the 18 and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets, 
from myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use the promo code PICK, P-I-C-K, all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase of any purchase, $25 or more at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.